Hey everyone, I'm kind of sick today, and I think I'm probably going to be sick tomorrow, so I'm recording uh, what I would like you to do. This is the Foxes and Rabbits template. This is your new project. I hope that you've unzipped the zip file and created a new Eclipse project for yourself. Uh, don't forget that you got to include core.jar, so you can left-click here and right-click and go to properties and include core.jar. Uh, this is what it looks like when you run it. It won't do anything in, until you hit the P key, P for pause or unpause. So now you can see you've got a bunch of, oh, all my foxes died. Okay, let's try it again. So as you can see, you've got a whole bunch of gray spots, which are rabbits, and they breed and run around. And you've got a whole bunch of pink spots, which are foxes, and they also breed, and you can see them eating the rabbits. Um, sometimes they all die out. And then you can also see the population levels being graphed in real time down here. Okay, so to do anything interesting at all in the simulation, you're going to have to understand how all the pieces work and how all the pieces fit together. So if you look at the list of classes here on the left, the really important ones for you are going to be rabbit, uh, which controls how rabbits work. Fox controls how foxes work. Simulator is the simulator that tells all the rabbits to move around and do stuff and tells all the foxes to move around and do stuff. It also loads them all in the very beginning. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So those are the three classes that you're going to re be responsible for understanding how they all work, and then you're going to modify how they work later on. And you'll, you'll add another type of animal to the ecosystem, um, and you can implement something like... Uh, like ecological problems or communicable disease or something else that's maybe of scientific interest. Okay, so here's your assignment for today. Um, I want you to look through all the classes and make your own reference sheet. The point of the reference sheet is so that you can, it's all the information all kind of in one place so that you know exactly what's inside Fox and Rabbit and Simulator. So here's what I mean. I say constants and fields and methods. Let me just remind you what those are and where you can find them. So <clears throat> let's look inside rabbit as an example. Oops. So here's rabbit. Constants are these variables that are listed at the very top that are always named with all capital letters and that are marked with final, which means that their values won't ever change. That's why they're called constants. So inside rabbit, uh, breeding age is a constant, maximum age, breeding probability, and max litter size, which is how many babies they're going to have. Those are all constants. Then if you go a little further down, here you have variables. Um, I didn't use the word variables. I used the word fields. Fields is another name for instance variables. These are variables that every single thing that's a rabbit has. So every single rabbit has an age and they have whether or not they're alive, and they have a location within the game. And even though every, every rabbit has these three variables, the actual values might be different, because obviously different rabbits have different locations, and they have different ages. So those are the first set of things you'd write down. Then if you keep scrolling down, you'll see all of the methods. Um, remember, methods are like commands. And I just want you to write down what are all the commands, what are their inputs, and what are their outputs. So here we've got the rabbit constructor. Um, we've got a method called run. We've got a method called increment age, and so on. So the way I want you to write these down <coughs> is using this format. You're going to create your own file. It could be a text document of some kind. And you'll say reference for, actually I would prefer you to say rabbit.java. And then you just list all the constants, breeding age, litter size, and so on. And then I want you to list all the fields here. Um, you probably don't need to say what they do because they're named very clearly, so it will be obvious what they do. Then I want you to list all the methods. So the method name goes right here. Uh, the first method is, <coughs> excuse me, rabbit. And if you remember, it takes an input. Let's look. So the input it takes is called random age. And you might be wondering what that's all about. If you read the comment right above the method, it will tell you what it's about. It says, if that input is true, then the rabbit will have a random age. OK, so you could say rabbit. The input is a Boolean called random age. And there's no return type because it's a constructor. And that's what makes constructors special. And then if you want to add your own column for notes about 
what they do that could be helpful for you later. <coughs> so notes, I'd say, constructs a rabbit, um, possibly with a random age. <coughs> and there you go. So you want your whole list of methods here. So I'd like you to do that for fox. I'd like you to do that for rabbit. And I'd like you to do that same thing for simulator. And then um, on Wednesday, we'll use the documents that you made and do some stuff that's a little bit more interesting. Okay, good luck.